Thank you so much, Ewan. Let's delve a little deeper into that sports bag after, and not to be said, a weekend of some shock results. It's all square in the T20 series between South Africa and Sri Lanka, each team securing a victory over the weekend. Sports 24 editor Garen Lamley now joins us this morning as we review the Proteus performances as well as some other results coming out of the weekend. We've got a little bit of golf thrown in there and, of course, a lot of AFCON action. Finally, our stars firing on all cylinders. Um, but speaking of which, Sri Lanka up against the Proteus. I think we were wanting this whitewash theme to continue but Sri Lanka finding another gear yesterday and showing a lot of heart Angela Matthews batting it out with an injury kind of typifying the character that they they approached that t20 to win that one um, but a winner piece now the the series is all squared up absolutely and the hats off to Sri Lanka you know they bounced back from that horrible test defeat yeah you know they went down in the first 2020 um, in Centurion a very wet Centurion on Friday night it became a t10 actually very only much 10 so, yeah. aside but they bounced back um, at the Wanderers last night. Angela Matthews, as you say, with her sore ankle, tripped over it towards the end of his innings. He ended up hitting two sixes in the final over to secure victory. One all, all to play for now in the th um, third and decider at um, Newlands on, on Wednesday night. I think Sri Lanka needed that sort of um, result. Yeah. I think their team, when you look at their lineup, they're better suited to the shorter format of the game rather than the five day test um, arena. So, you know, I expect a competitive game. They could well sneak that um, victory at uh, Newlands on Wednesday. And I think they need that ahead of the ODIs. Obviously, they're blending in some young players just mm -hmm. like South Africa. What do you make of the, the South African debutants of the weekend? Six of them in the Absolutely, you know, it's been a long time since we've seen so many players on debut. You know, some of them um, performed obviously a little bit better than others. Lunga and, and Gidi, fantastic performance. Um, the fast bowler, yeah, you know, to watch. Ca career best figures last night. You know, he's really um, stood out for South Africa. I expect a long future for him, not only in 2020, perhaps ODIs as well. Who knows, maybe even the Test Arena. Others, you know, it's a little bit hit and miss 2020. Sometimes you're not, you're never really in, you only get to bowl four overs, so you can't really stand out. But I'm sure, you know, they've all got um, bright futures ahead of them. Yeah, some valuable, <clears throat> excuse me, experience in the offing as well. Then um, we chose to focus on the South African Women's Masters as we turn to golf now. Why? Because it's been a nine-year absence mm. and a host of new young stars. In fact, um, Carrie Park taking the victory, 19 years old. She, I know she's, um, we're going to claim her as a South African, but <laughs> she is um, South Korean. But um, what do you make of the return of one of, I think, one of the most uh, illustrious golfing tournaments and obviously a big highlight on the on the calendar? Absolutely. You know, there's, there's a lot of men's golf, if you like, on the Sunshine Tour. Yeah. Not enough um, women's golf. He's had nine-year absence. Um, hats off to Ron Bosch Golf Course for, for hosting them in Cape Town. 500,000 Rand prize money. Kerry Parker is 19 years old. Lived in South Africa apparently for the eight, last eight or nine years, yeah. so she's proudly South African, she says. So, you know, great, great um, to see her holding off some of the more illustrious names of South African golf, Leanne Pace, um, Ashley Simon. So, you know, that they were all chasing her head into the last round, but she held, held tough in, in the wind. You can see I was going to say, it's worth it's, noting the, <laughs> the greenery behind. It's got to be one of the yeah, toughest absolutely. courses to play on just from that perspective. The, the Cape Town um, wind got up certainly in the last round, but she, she held firm, shot a level par final round two to win by five shots. So fairly comfortable win in the end. You know, a nice payday for her as well. So I'm sure she's looking forward to the next um, event. Well, in fact, we had an opportunity to catch up with Carrie um, briefly after her incredible win. Take a look. Um, yes, it was. I mean, I didn't expect it. But I mean, obviously, yesterday um, we come into the final day with a bit of ex expectations. And I know I was playing against the tough players. But I think I managed well. And my, all my golf on this course. Um, luckily, it was it was mine today. And yes, I mean, I, I did I did make some good putts out there. Very very good shots. Um, I wouldn't I wouldn't ask for more. Um, so yeah, it was yeah it was it was a, I mean I think it was a really really great win yeah for me. Oh, well, I think a, a very great win against an incredibly strong field. Garen, thank you so much for joining us That's this great. morning. Host of Footballing Action. Of course, that continues tonight. You can catch, or at least today, more of our AFCON action on SABC1. We'll be talking football throughout this week. So much fantastic action happening on this continent. We're going to take a very quick ad break. Then we're going to take a look at this day in history over the years. Stay tuned for that. We'll see you now. Hi.